All right, so my PC friends, I already made a video for you on how to get your audio from your DAW into OBS and then into Discord, Zoom, Twitch, and all that stuff. But my Mac friends, I got you. This video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to do that on Mac, regardless of your DAW, whether you're using Logic or Ableton. It's really not necessarily just OBS, it's how to get the audio from your DAW and then you can route that audio into any application that you want. Zoom, Discord, you name it. Let's go. Okay, so when I was looking into how to do this with Mac, I actually found a couple of ways, but I know there's a lot of people that use Soundflower, but to me with Soundflower, although it's free, it's open source and it doesn't seem like it's getting a lot of support. So I don't wanna recommend something that might not work for you. Um, so the more stable and reliable option is actually an application called Loopback. Now, the best way for me to explain to you Loopback, it's basically an application that will take multiple sources as the input and will create an instance of um, all that audio to be used anywhere that any application that takes an input basically. All right, now let's switch over so I can show you how to use it and get you all going with streaming. So first look up loopback and then um, basically you're gonna download it from Rogue. Um, you can start with the free download to kind of give it a try. The Actually the trial is pretty good. You can do anything you want. It's just timed after a certain time start playing a, a white noise. So, but it's it gives you plenty of time to give it a try and see if it's working for you or not. So um, download it. After you download it, you're gonna have to install it. And then this is what is gonna look like right here. So to give you a little bit of overview about loopback, so on here is you're creating devices. Now the device is like what I said, is that instance of audio, it's that one audio jack that's creating for you that you can plug in anywhere. So think of that, that's the, that's the device you're creating. And then within the device, on here you're gonna have your sources. So what do you wanna plug in into this device? So on here, for example, I have Able, I have uh, my microphone, the Scarlet, uh, that's going through the Scarlet Solo. And then I also have a splice because a lot of times when I'm uh, streaming or working with clients, I'm like trying to use different samples. Um, you want, you know, basically the other people to be able to hear the samples that you're listening to on splice that you're going to pick. So, but this could be any application really, if you, I don't know, you're trying to sample from somewhere else, a different application, you can still add it on here. And then the next column right here is basically your output channels. Basically, all of these channels are going into here um, and it's gonna output them in a stereo. So you got left and right. On this column right here, you have monitors. Monitors basically, um, like you don't need these if you just want to get the audio from these sources and send them to a different application. But if you wanna hear back what you're sending, you can add a monitor. And in this case, um, I have a this Scarlet Solo as the output for those monitors. So basically when I put my headphones on, I can hear all these sources and how they sound like going into uh, whatever application that I'm gonna send them to. And from that, what's nice about this is that you can kind of control if you want more your vo more of your mic. Um, for example, Splice was kind of really loud, so I turned that down. And then Ableton, you know, you can your DAW, however much you want to control the audio levels between these sources. So that's kind of helpful to monitor those different levels before you send them to um, Discord or Zoom or OBS. And then, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and create the same thing and show you how to do that. So uh, create a new device and then um, you can get rid of this. We don't need that. Um, so delete that. And then over here, you can name the device. This is gonna make it easy for you to, especially if you have different multiple devices, it's gonna make it easy for you to know um, which one you're gonna select as the input in the other applications. So if I'm just gonna do Ableton and mic, um, then I'll just do Ableton and mic. And then that way I know the difference between these two is that this one has got everything, Ableton, Splice, and mic. Um, and this one just has Ableton and mic. And then, so we'll go ahead and add a source. And as you can see in here, all the sources, you have all these different applications. Any applications that has some kind of an audio, audible output, you can actually select it on here. 
So on here, we're going to select uh, Ableton, or you can select Logic, for example, if that's what you're using. And then on here, now we know that Ableton's output is going to go um, and is going to capture it over here. And for example, like if I show you, I have Ableton right here with an instrument loaded up. And then that's sending through. So if I play, you can see it moving and coming there. Uh, now, if I want to add my mic, I'm just going to go ahead to audio devices down here. I'm going to select my audio interface, which is the Scarlett Solo. Um, now, this is a tricky with Scarlett and might be also with your um, audio interface is that it has my mic on one channel. It has it on the left channel, right? And But that's an easy fix if you want to convert it to mono so the other person is not just hearing you on the left. All you have to do is take this cable. If you want, you can just delete that and then go ahead and grab another cable from there from the left and we're going to push it to the right uh, channel. So now you basically converted that mono channel and made it stereo so they can hear you on both ears. So now you have Ableton and your mic. If you're a singer trying to do this, uh, you can still have your mic obviously going into Ableton and then you can, you, at that point, you don't even need this. Um, or But if you can also have this all the time on there, but whenever you, let's say you're gonna perform, then you can just turn this off and then it will just cut it right there. So, and then if you wanna add another source, um, again, like I said, you can do uh, splice. And then now we have splice going in there. Um, and because I know splice is gonna be kinda loud, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. <clears throat> okay. So, and then if you want to add a monitor, then you can just go here, add your audio um, interface or your MacBook speakers, whatever you want to add. And basically now you can hear back everything that's coming in here. But since we named this Ableton a mic, I'm going to go ahead and delete splice. Um, that way it, it matches what we have going on. So now once you have this created, first I'm going to go and um, show you OBS. So in OBS, when you open it up, um, I already have a scene right here. So let's go ahead and create a new scene. Uh, this is um, Ableton and Mike. And obviously you can have the mic going straight in here in OBS and you don't need to add it in loopback, but this is gonna have both of them in there. You can just mute this one or delete this track and you're good to go. And then, so, Click Add, Audio Input Capture, and then in here, you're gonna name it whatever. So let's say, I'm just name it Ableton Test, okay? So, I mean, you can name it whatever you want, really. But in here, when you go to select the device, you will see that we have Ableton and Splice and Ableton Mic. Those are the two devices that we have in loopback right here. So depending on which you know setup you wanna bring to OBS, that's what you select. So we have Ableton and Mike, that's what we wanna push through. Then we're gonna go ahead and select Ableton and Mike. And then as you can see in here, it's already capturing my voice right now because I'm speaking, but also if I wanna play, It's also capturing the music and whatever I'm playing that's coming from, from Ableton. I mean, basically OBS is the same as loopback and the fact that it's a mixer, it's got its own mixer, so you can have those two tracks separated. If you just wanna have Ableton going straight into here um, and add a mic in OBS, that way you have two separate things um, you need to control them that way, that, that's great, that works but also you can do it this way through loopback. But what comes in handy by having both in loopback is the fact that when you go to Zoom, for example, <clears throat> since you only have one input channel, um, it's nice to have loopback combining both Ableton and your vocals in here. So if you go to audio, and then what you're gonna do under microphone, you're gonna change this from the whatever it's selected to the device that we created in loopback. And as you can see here, you can, you also see Ableton and Splice and Ableton and Mic. So we can pick Ableton and Mic, and now you can see it's capturing my audio in here and and the Ableton output coming in here as well. 
So that's when it comes in handy. If you're working with a client or like, okay, how does this sound? So you're talking and playing, they can hear both of those through the chat. Um, and if you wanna do the same thing with Discord, all you have to do is go to settings and then you're gonna to go to voice and video and under input device, you're gonna select Ableton and mic. And it's just as easy as that. Um, if you have Skype, the same deal, just wherever it says the input device, select Ableton and mic and you're good to go. I mean, Lubac is just, honestly, is just amazing and so worth the money. And speaking of money, like I said, it's not free. You can download a free trial, which is very good to give it a try. Um, but if you wanna purchase it, it's $100 um, to get that. And I actually got it on Black Friday for like 70 bucks. So they, they do run deals every now and then. So if you want to keep an eye out for that, but I think for a hundred bucks, it's, it's worth it because it's got the support. It's very, very powerful that, you know, you can combine and route so many different audio from different applications into one instance. And uh, I don't know, it's just very handy. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified future videos. And before you go, make sure to check out some of these other videos that I have that might interest you. And I'll also put how to do this on PC on this card right here. All right, until next time, keep making music. Peace.